That 19 presents Burning Questions, featuring customer inquiries about curiously awesome gifts. And now, here's your host, Greg Poupon. Our first question is about the rotating disco light, a multicolored party light in a single bulb. It's a me, Mario Lopez asks, my friends aren't very coordinated. Will this guarantee a better dance party? Here's a bright idea, buy dance lessons. Our next question name drops the Jumbo Lighter, a hilariously huge wind-resistant fire source. Gritty Teletubbies Reboot writes, Burning Questions doesn't have enough actual burning in it. Can you use the Jumbo Lighter to fix that? Wow, that seems like a great idea. <laughs> These new guys are idiots. Our queries continue with a question about the Gel Blaster Surge, a safe shooter that fires squishy gel-based pellets. Lizomatic 2000 wonders, since it's called the Gel Blaster Surge, can you use Surge Soda to soak into the ammo? <laughs> These scientists are dropping like flies. Our next question is about the healthy potato chip maker, a kitchen tool to cook chips without oil. Old Sheldon asks, sure, the potato thing is neat, but can you use it to make it a healthier fried bologna? Even Mrs. Poupon couldn't ruin that dish. Next up is a question about the Sling Ball Night Flight, a light up catch set. Andre 3001 queries, can you show some cool trick shots? Well, that wasn't real. Our next question is about sour tennis ball gum, a tart chewable candy that looks like a felted tennis ball and tastes like sour lemon. Fast Break 383 inquires, can you use them as real tennis balls? Our next question concerns the boba tea keychain, an adorable fob filled with liquid that looks like a cup of bubble tea. Lil Nas X marks the spot wonders, can you drink the liquid inside of it? Mm. 
I thought he was already dead. Our next question is about the foam soap pump dispenser, a reusable soap container that transforms regular liquid soap into foaming bubbles. Rage Against the Machine Gun Kelly inquires, what happens if you fill it with paint? took longer than it needed to. Our next question refers to the giant brain gummy, a candy treat shaped like a human brain. Jason Mimosa wonders, how does the taste compare to a real brain? Cannibalism, not cool. Friendship, very cool. Or so I've heard. Gotcha! Ha, I don't need friends. Next up, a question about bacon lip balm, a moisturizer for your mouth parts that tastes just like bacon. Dwayne the Chris Rock Johnson wants to know, how does it compare to lip balm made with actual bacon? Pon prefers the stuff that only tastes like bacon. Otherwise, I'm so greasy, I just slip right off her face. Our next inquiry concerns the burrito blanket, a throw with a photorealistic image of a tortilla printed on it. Alice Minnie Cooper wonders, wouldn't it be amazing to swaddle yourself with the contents of a burrito supreme? See, not even that messy. Gah. Our final question is about the magnetic sand hourglass, a desktop decoration with metal filings and a cool spiky appearance. Neil Diamond in the Rough asks, can I use it to cheat at game night? Nothing's more fun than technically winning by a loophole. Well, that's it, and that's all. Until next time. 
Fat19.com